What the heck? Can you see that? Inside there? There's some bubbling plastic bit in there. It's all flaky. What the heck is all that? Right, and it's a Friday morning. I think this video goes out Friday morning, does it? I don't even know what day of the week it is. And today we're gonna to be carrying on with the CB750 engine. So this is part two of the engine teardown. I'm not gonna to do too much today. All I'm going to be doing is taking the cylinder head off now that we've got the cams and everything off, the cam chain and everything. We're gonna take the cylinder head off and we're going to take uh, the kind of piston head off as well and we are going to take the pistons off so if you would have seen the compression tests then i kind of think that the rings need changing i mean the rings are fairly reasonable in cost anyway and seeing as we've got the engine out and seeing as we've got the engine in pieces we might as well buy some rings and put them on we don't have them as yet but we'll, we'll take the pistons out anyway so we can inspect those we can inspect the gaps inspect the pistons and we'll probably get to a point where we're ready to actually take the the bottom crankcase off as well whether i do that in this episode or not i don't know i think the crankcase will probably be for another video it'll probably be for another day so let's carry on with our investigative work and see what kind of damage the previous owner did to this bike. We'll probably find more silicone, more plastic bits, more silver paint. For some reason they've painted everything silver. So let's carry on and see what we can find. Right, we've got the cylinder head off now. That is over there. One thing I can definitely say is that the underside of it is really sort of carbon fouled. If I try and lift this up now, obviously I don't want to tip it over kind of 90 degrees because I don't want these valve shim buckets to fall out. But you can see here that obviously, yeah, there's a lot of carbon fouling up there. They need to be cleaned. The sort of jury's out at the moment whether we need to uh, get the valves to seat a little bit better. I mean there is a quick test I can do with that. I can I can fill up these ports with uh, with liquid and then see if they seep out. Without actually doing things like that you can't really tell if the valves are leaking or not. Um, and there are further tests you can do as well. If the valves are leaking that is a bigger job than, than what we were anticipating but heck it's out now so we can do all the work that we need.
so what I'm going to do now, now that I've got the uh, pistons out, so I've got the cylinder head, we've got the, the piston head, and we've got the pistons out as well, I need to actually rotate this engine around. Um, do I? No, actually, do you know what? Hang on, a little bit thinking. I need to take the points out. I need to take this whole side off because that is connected to the lower part, so I do need to do that. No, let's leave that for the time being, but let's just turn the engine over and then I can have a think about what to do next. Actually, I'm going to call it a day here. I think that's probably enough. Taking the top off is enough. The only other thing I was going to do on this video was actually get it on top of this, but I think I'm going to have to devise some kind of clever jig or frame or you know something a piece of wood there even just to kind of protect those and obviously the other part of the engine is going to sit on top of that um, but again I need two people to kind of lift it up me and another person it's a bit too heavy at the moment let's call it a day there in fact let's put the engine back over just so that we're not putting any stresses onto these there you go just so we're not putting any unnecessary stress onto these here. You don't really want to be bending these. Right, so that is all I'm going to do for today. So as you've seen, we've taken everything off and we've got this here. Obviously, we're not going to be reusing that gasket, so that can come off. We need new little rubber rings for the bottom of these ports. And as you can see, it's kind of like paint covered in really rubbish silver paint. And it's kind of gone down here as well. I don't know. Look at that. Look at that there. Silver paint on the inside. I know that's not on like an important facing part or anything like that. But still, why would you do that? And then God knows how much silicone everywhere. Whether that is engine silicone, whether it's bathroom sealant. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if it was bathroom sealant. But anyway, uh, the only thing that's causing me concern is that little bit of paint in there it kind of feels like it feels like poor 15 it feels like dried poor 15 if I'm honest oh hang on okay so looking at it further it looks I don't know what it was could be a fixed job um, it looks to me like there could have been a hole there looking at the outside here there's there's like a little bulge on there as well so it could could be a really bad fixed job look further into that but we've got everything off and let me put that back down there and the next step as I said at the end of the video is to put the engine upside down onto like a jig a block frame pretty much just so we can get the crankcase off because you go what well, you need to unscrew it from the underneath you take that off and that exposes uh, the primary chain and also your bearings your gears everything like that and I am gonna have to take more of the side bits off the engine as well so like the, the points and the thing on the other side I've, I've got the oil pump as well that needs to come off so that will be done in the next episode also the weather is getting a little bit warmer now so I might even be inclined to gloss coat the GS and we've got new pods so I can fit those onto there yeah in the next two weeks let's take the GS out why not my sign off Oh gosh, electrics! Electrics for the CX, how could I forget about that? Uh, I've got all the electrics bits for the CX as well, so I've got numerous amounts of coloured wire, I've got shrink wrap, um, I've got my soldering iron ready, so let's start on the wiring as well, part 3 of the wiring, the CX. Actually, you know what, let's, let's see how it goes, part 2, part 3 of the CX wiring might either be this Monday or Friday, let's see how it goes. If you like what you see, if you want to follow all these three builds now, wherever we are up onto each one of them, then subscribe. If you like what you see, follow me on Instagram, I will see you on Monday. So have a good weekend and see you then.